starting with his 1939 as quarter dollar in mean state 68. This is the ultimate registry coin for the 1939 as Washington quarter being the sole finest at PCGS and CAC. NGC reports two additional coins in this grade, but neither is CAC endorsed. Satiny unblemished mint luster complements boldly rendered devices. Much of each side is brilliant, although the deep crescents of crimson, gold, and amber olive toning appear along the lower obverse and upper reverse borders. I appeal is outstanding, sold for $30,000 at Heritage Auctions. This is spectacularly toned 1957D Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. This enchanting piece is vividly toned with the boldest and most impressive colors lining the left of words and reverse borders, fully frosted throughout with smartly impressed design elements and essentially pristine surfaces, a truly delightful and awesome condition rarity from this high mintage Denver issue, with over 77 million coins struck. It fetched the sum of $11,400 at Stax Bowers auction. This is 1922 No D Lincoln Sand in MS63 brown condition, highly elusive strong reverse die pair 2 variety. No sense were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such omission of the small cent denomination. Sense were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional sense were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without the letter D below the date. Eventually, Numismatis determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents like the D, type pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D. However, die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This die pair 2 carries a lofty premium relative to a die pairs 1 and 3 and is key to Lincoln's and series. This specimen was sold for $15,000 on May 3rd, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1999 Susan Anthony dollar struck on a Sacagawea dollar planchette, graded in mean state 64 by PCGS. This is not an SBA dollar struck over an already struck Sacagawea dollar, rather the incorrect planchette, one made from manganese brass outer layer or pure copper core, was fed into the press producing this off-metal dollar. Of note is the absence of the normally seen spots that usually accompany Sacagawea dollars. The strike details are remarkably soft in certain areas, especially the eagle's claws and the wreaths. This undoubtedly is from the difference in the two alloys used for each dollar coin. The Susan B. Anthony composed of copper nickel. It was sold for $15,600 in 2019 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a silver quarter planchet, graded as EF45 by PCGS. EF stands for extremely fine. Always popular as a transitional year, a leftover silver planchet from 1964 apparently was stuck in a supposedly empty tot bean, then jarred loose in 65 and struck. Moderate circulation traces are evident over the high points and there are no detracting marks. A rare and very desirable off-metal error coin, it was sold for $7,500 at Stax Bowers auction. This is 1916D Mercury Dime in MS63 condition with full bands, the low mintage series key. The Denver Mint struck 264,000 Mercury Dimes during the first year of production for Adolf A. Weinman's new design. That's the only recorded Mercury Dime mintage below 1 million coins, although the two overdate varieties may also have lower mintage. The 1916D is a key to the series in all grades from low-level circulated coins to gem and finer mint state examples. This crisply detailed select mint state piece has sharp central bands on the reverse. Both sides exhibit frosty silver luster and dappled gold toning. Sold on May 3rd, 2023 for $28,800 at Heritage Auctions. This is one of the most valuable regular strike Roosevelt Times you'll ever see. 1949 10 cent piece in Mint State 68 with full bands. This is a formidable rarity for the Roosevelt collector, representing the sole finest certified example seen by PCGS so far. 
The verse is painted in rich bands of colorful iridescence that intensify at the right border, showing a blend of teal, violet, and magenta hues. The reverse remains virtually brilliant, save for a slight dusting of olive patina visible under scrutiny. Perfectly executed and essentially untouched, the present piece simply cannot be improved upon. It is among the very finest survivors of mintage of 30.9 million coins and is ultimate treasure for PCGS register set participant. Sold for $13,200 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1985 D-Lincoln sent in MS69 red condition. A grade of MS69 is considered exceptionally high as it represents a coin with a very few imperfections. Coins graded at this level typically have full luster, sharp details, and minimal contact marks or blemishes. However, they may have some slight imperfections that prevents them from achieving the highest grade of MS-70. The red designation in MS-69 red signifies that the coin has retained its original red coloration, characteristic of newly minted Lincoln scents. As copper-based coins age, they tend to develop a brownish or reddish brown patina. Therefore, the coins that maintain their original red color are more desirable among collectors. The superb gem ended up selling for $3,375 with buyers fee at Great Collections Auction. This ever-popular 1873 Indian scent with attractive toning and doubled liberty. Rare choice means state preservation. I reached the original conditionally rare example of this fabled Indian scent variety. Satiny surfaces are boldly toned in blend of antique copper. Both sides are revealing more vivid cobalt blue undertones that are a bit more pronounced on the obverse. That side of a coin also retains blushes of original rose-orange color here and there around the periphery. Smooth and inviting with an overall sharp strike, it was sold for $15,600 at Stax Powers Auction. Here is 1955 Lincoln Scent in MS64 red condition, famous double diverse variety. Unlike the other varieties that remained undiscovered for years or even decades after their production, the discovery of this famous variety in Northeast United States within a year of its release into circulation ensured that exceptional examples survive today. This sharply detailed choice mint state piece has highly lustrous fiery orange surfaces and minimal spots or marks. Sold on May 3, 2023 for $17,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1946 Roosevelt Time in MS68 condition, a Georgia superb gem and semi-unique at the PCGS MS68 grade level. This first year Roosevelt Time really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Vivid reddish rose iridescence blankets the verse and yields to a halo of reddish gold peripheral toning on the reverse. The latter side is brilliant in the center, and all areas are basked in intensely lustrous mint frost. Sold for $2,587.50 at Stax Bowers Auction.